Hello everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Spice. Well, I guess just welcome back to my channel because I doubt anyone's watching this video if they don't know who I am. I mean, if you are, I mean, feel free to stick around, but my name is Byzaster, and I hope you are doing very well today. And yes, the news is true. I hit 500 subscribers. I, I'm sorry. I'm just, I still cannot believe that I have over 500 subscribers now. I think I'm at 550 right now. I was at last month, 370 subs. And then that Jujutsu Kaisen video blew up and now I have well over 500. And thank you guys so much. Your support genuinely means everything to me. I cannot express my thanks enough. I love you all. Thank you so, so much. My goal for this year was to hit 500 subs by the end of it. And I have hit 500 subs two months into the year. So yeah. <laughs> so if you don't know what this video is, you probably haven't read the title. That's that's what it is. It's a Q&A. <laughs> So yeah, to celebrate hitting 500 subs, I put a question box up on my Instagram and a question thingy up on a YouTube video and a YouTube community post so people could ask their questions and I could answer them in a video form, which is what I'm doing right now. So that's enough blabbing. I will get into the questions and my whole thing with this was ask me anything, which you... You will see in this video, a lot of people took that to heart. So this first question, because multiple people asked this one, asks, what made you start YouTube? And honestly, a lot of people are like, oh, sorry, this is a basic question. But really, I don't think basic automatically equals bad. Like, for example, this question, you can generate a lot of interesting responses from asking it. Unfortunately, my response isn't that interesting. It's just, you know, like a lot of other uh, kids my age, I grew up watching YouTube, and I personally was just kind of fascinated by the creators, you know? They're talking about what they love, reaching audiences who love the same thing that they do, and sort of creating a community. And I, I mean, not, I'm not monetized yet, but making a career off of it, that's a dream job, I think. It's really cool that there's an opportunity to do that. So. I think that's the main reason that I started. Again, watching YouTube as a kid and wanting to be a YouTuber instead of other kids not growing out of that idea isn't too original of a reason <laughs> to start YouTube, but it is my reason, so yeah. This next question, also from Instagram, asks, what kind of games do you like to play? So as a person that reviews video games, on his YouTube channel. I play lots of different types of games. When I was younger, I used to only play like Nintendo exclusive games. I, those were the only ones I cared about. But as I've started getting more and more into gaming, I've started getting more and more into other genres and other series and outside of that sort of branch. I have a lot of favorite different types of game genres, but the one that stands out out of all of them is definitely RPGs. Fire Emblem, Xenoblade, Persona, all great games. I just have a lot of fun playing them. Before I changed my username to Byzaster, I used to make videos under the name RPG Gamer. So, I mean, that's probably a testament to how much I love RPGs. This next question also comes from Instagram and it asks, um, how long does it take you to plan out a video? And I really like this one. I, this one doesn't even overlap with the last Q&A video I did. So yeah, this is a really good question. So planning out a video, I mean, if it's like a shit post video, which I don't really do anymore, it usually five minutes max. <laughs> but for like actual full length videos, usually it's like I pick the topic obviously. And then for example, with the Jujutsu Kaisen video I did recently, I go back and I watch, or if it's a game, play it again. And while I'm doing that, you know, I take notes on it, put timestamps of things I want to include, jokes I want to make, shit like that. I move on to writing the script once I'm done with that, which usually takes a day or two, maybe three sometimes. And then like revising it only takes one or two days. And then making the actual video, the filming process takes for the Jujutsu Kaisen video, only like one to three days because that was kind of a shorter one for like my actual like for example the persona video i think took around a week to film and edit so i'd say the whole process takes around a month for one video but it, that whole month isn't spent just completely focused on the actual video thank you for the question that is a really good one shit 
<laughs> all right yeah here's where we start getting into the questions that'll be hella embarrassing to answer these two two questions uh, i have the same answer to both of them though what cringe fandom were you in and what was your 2020 phase dang it all right here's the thing regardless of your thoughts on the game the fandom is fucking atrocious it's so bad it, especially in 2020 it was bad yeah and then this next one is a normal question again, and it asks, who are your favorite YouTubers slash inspirations? So a lot of my inspiration for my videos obviously comes from other creators on the site. Arlo, Peanut Butter Gamer, Ramsace, Drew Gooden, a lot of those guys kind of influence like whether it's the way I write videos or the content that I cover, some of like the styles of jokes that I make. I mean, obviously I do my own original shit. I don't just copy them word for word or anything, but like a lot of their videos have kind of like influenced the games and anime and stuff that I cover and my script writing process and jokes to a lesser extent. And then when it comes to like inspirations like outside of the YouTube field, Nathan Fielder, Tim Robinson, Eric Andre. That one darling in the Franks video I did, the intro was just a parody of an Eric Andre show intro. I'm into the weirder side of comedy, not to sound like I, I'm different or anything like that, but yeah, it, it's definitely had an influence on my videos. You can probably see it if you watch them. Hi everyone, um, editing by Zaster here to mention that I somehow completely forgot to mention Anthpo and Jack is Boy in my um, YouTubers that have influenced me section. I don't know how I forgot because they have been some of the biggest influences on me, like comedy and writing wise. My entire the problem with YouTube video was literally just me ripping off Jack as boy. <laughs> I like this one. This next one asks, what is the most batshit insane thing you've seen in school? The crowning weird ass public school moment that I've had was in middle school. I walked into the bathroom once and someone had shat in the urinal. So that was interesting. I don't go in school bathrooms anymore. And then this next one comes from YouTube instead of Instagram. And it asks, when is the Face Raiders video coming? <laughs> Soon, I promise, I promise I'll make it. And then this next one also comes from Instagram. I mean, honestly, if this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, that's my backup plan. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled, I guess. Another one from Instagram. Are you the one who knocks? Yes, I am. I can't, I can't do I can't do a Walter White voice. This next one, also from Instagram, asks, What is your favorite animal? Blue jays. Blue jays are my favorite animal. They're a type of bird. They look really pretty. They're also apparently assholes for no reason, so I can relate to that. This next question comes from YouTube, and this is a really interesting one. It asks, if you could live in any fictional world, what would it be? And that is a tough one, because I could think of like so many cool ones that would also be hella dangerous. Like Zelda, for example, would be so cool, but there are so many monsters and I'd die fucking immediately. Like my weak ass would be done, <laughs> like absolutely. Hmm, probably Pokemon, it's not, the definitive like final answer but being able to just fuck off from school and train a cute monster and battle and have fun and shit that would be that would be hella cool i would like that and this next question which comes from instagram we're getting instagram questions again asks what is my favorite mario game that's a good one mm, i'm stuck between galaxy galaxy 2 and odyssey uh, odd is it? No, no. Galaxy 2, probably. Gal yeah, definitely Galaxy 2. I like Galaxy 1, but Galaxy 2 was an improvement. It had such cool fucking power-ups, and it's so nostalgic. Odyssey, kind of the same, but like, uh, I can't, I, I, I can't give it to Odyssey because I... Putting Galaxy 2 in second place just feels so wrong. So yeah, I'd go Galaxy 2. That game is so good. Nintendo needs to bring it to Switch. The fact that they left it out of All-Stars is genuinely disgusting. This next one also comes from Instagram and it asks, are you straight up jorking it in the stripped club? Yes, I am. And by it, <laughs> let's just say, I mean, my peanuts. <laughs> yes, yes to this next one. Have you ever heard of Nobumaki? I have loved Nobumaki. This is an inside joke between Ren and I. Ren's a 
frequent collaborator on my channel. Speaking of which, huge ass video coming up with her and another one of my friends soon, probably after this one. So, so get hyped. It's, it's big. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> this next one asks, why am I white? I don't know, but I'm sorry. <laughs> this next one's sort of in the same vein as the last one. It asks, why are you a fag? Hmm, that's a, that's a good question. I think I got a question like this last time, and I said it was probably because of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'd say the same thing this time, but it's either JoJo's or Ace Attorney. Scientists are still trying to determine the cause of my bisexuality. We are getting near the end, sort of. And this one asks, oh, I like this one. It asks, what are the posters you have on display in the back of your videos? So I won't lie, not, not attacking the person that asked this question, but the timing of the question being asked was kind of poor because I took a lot of my older posters down because they were starting to get like old and torn and shit when I was like reorganizing them and stuff. Back before this, I also had like Led Zeppelin, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Metallica, stuff like that. But here I'll show you. The ones I currently have up are first of all my Bauhaus poster. I showcased that one in my Christmas video. It came with my Bella Laguzzi's dead vinyl. I got two Mud Honey posters in the middle right here. Both of them also come from vinyl that I got. And this last one, I actually just got this one recently. Also from a vinyl, Swan's Filth. It's a, such a cool fucking poster and such a great album. And then I know this wasn't the question, but I felt like showing this because my, you know, Filth was indirectly mentioned. These are the vinyl I have on display right now. I miss having this on display in my videos, kind of. This one asks, what happened to the game shelf? I know, I'm sorry. For those who just started watching my channel recently, there was a time period like a little while ago, like kind of late last year, where there was construction going on in my house and I had to like reposition my camera because my desk was gone. So I was filming videos like I had my phone on my bed and I was filming them this way so you can see my game shelf and my vinyl display. And actually, you know, I showed my vinyl display. I might as well show my game shelf. Here it is. Don't worry, it's still there. I had to do some changes to it and stuff. And also, I guess it's also sort of like a manga shelf as well. One day when I'm not lazy, which is probably never, I'll move things around so I'll get to be at my desk and have this stuff on display. This one is like an actual serious question, but it has an embarrassing answer. How did I get into Ace Attorney? The answer is Danganronpa. I heard that <laughs> the games were similar, and so I played Ace Attorney, and then I realized, oh shit, this is like if Danganronpa was good. So I mean, I guess one of the benefits of Danganronpa was that it led me to Ace Attorney. Ooh, I like this one. What is my favorite video of mine, and which one's my least favorite video? Hmm, that is a good question. I'll actually have to take a look at the shit I've uploaded really quick. All right, if we are talking with recency bias, then it's either my Astral Chain video or my anime in 2023 videos. I think both of those turned out really well, but when I look back at them a year from now, I'll probably have a completely different favorite anyways. And so without recency bias, I'd probably go with my Bochi the Rock video that I did. I think that one also turned out really well. It could definitely use some improving. I think I've gotten better at making videos since then, but I think it turned out really well. I'm not trying to suck my own cock here, but I, I feel like it's pretty funny and well-written and also informative. I just had fun making it. I'd say, yeah, without recency bias, that one's my favorite. Least favorite, without a doubt, my anime in 2020 video. That that video was a fucking disaster. The only reason I still have it up is because the anime in year series wouldn't make sense if I deleted it, and it also backed up a fair amount of views. So I mean, that's one of the reasons, but God, that video was a fucking nightmare. Like, uploading it, I got copyright struck a bajillion fucking times and I had to re-record and everything. And then when I finally uploaded it, the video quality was so ass. It looks so bad. And also, it's just a terrible video. The jokes aren't funny. I go over everything way too fast. I, oh god, that video fucking sucks, man. And this is the final question, and conveniently, it was probably the most perfect final question that could have been asked. And it asks, why do I make videos? And that, honestly, is another one where it's like, it could have so many different answers, you know? Some people make videos for the money. Some people make videos for themselves. And I'll be honest, I kind of make videos for 
myself they're, they're kind of self-indulgent i won't lie I, I mean i talked about astral chain recently a switch game from 2019 do you know who cares about that no one <laughs> but actually I stand corrected because it actually got a lot of views, thanks for that. But the real reason that I make videos is because I like talking about things I like, but more than that, I like having people be able to connect with me and with others over my videos and over the things I talk about in them. It's just such a nice thing, having a sense of community because of things that you made. Like, again, not trying to stroke my own cock here, but like, I, I feel like I've created, I don't want to say like a fan base, you guys aren't my fans, like, fans are the annoying thing on my ceiling that disrupts my sound quality every half an hour. Fans, like, I, I don't want to call you guys that, you guys are like a family to me, pretty much, like, saying fan base sounds so demeaning, like, I, I don't hate people that say it, I mean, it's a common term, but like, I don't know, in my opinion, it just sounds like you're beneath me, which you are absolutely fucking not. I'm getting sidetracked. The reason I make videos is because I have not a fan base, but a community that can watch them and enjoy them and talk to me and others about the shit I cover in my videos and other stuff. I just, I, I really like that. I like talking about things and having people watch that and stuff. It's a very basic reason, but it's my reason. And with that, I want to thank you guys so much for once again helping me hit 500 subscribers. It means so much and for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're willing to stick around for the next video I have coming out, which took so much fucking editing and so much fucking time. I painstakingly worked on it and it is long, but I hope that you will watch and appreciate it. It would mean so much to me. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.